meteorologist Nikki D. Ray with KLBK's first warning weather. Cold weather is headed back across the South Plains. Today we got a little taste of it, but the sun was out, so it did not feel nearly as cold as what tomorrow is going to be. Take a look what's happening right now outside. We are dealing with some very nice conditions, although we are seeing some blowing dust and dirt taking place across the central areas of the South Plains. Obviously, nothing compared to what we dealt with yesterday, but still, we are dealing with those high wind speeds. The system that came through overnight, well, it gave us a few showers, but nonetheless, didn't see too much in the way of rainfall. We are clear across the entire portion of the South Plains. Now check out this long linear line of showers and thunderstorms continuing to build and push off towards the Dallas Fort Worth area. They have seen their share of rainfall over the past several days and obviously their share of severe weather. They are going to continue to see the rain and flooding will be another factor for tonight. Sadly, we are just still in the drought. Temperatures right now are coming in 72 degrees in the hub, 60 in Amarillo. Check out Albuquerque, 59 degrees. And you notice the areas indicated in the blue? Well, if you go up to Colorado, they're seeing snow. I'm not talking just a little bit of snow, I'm talking inches upon inches of snowfall. That is how potent the storm system that is about to push across the South Plains and it's going to impact us quite a bit, especially when it comes to our outdoor flowers. Temperatures today already a dramatic difference from what we dealt with this time yesterday. We were in the 90s, upper 90s. In fact, 72 degrees right now in the hub. We've got those 60s along the state line off into the rolling plain. Temperatures are in the mid 70s. It's still comfortable outside, but you are getting a little chill. Winds coming in strictly out of the north, around 20 to even 25 miles per hour at times. And these winds, they're going to hold on tight overnight. Last night, I woke up to some high wind speeds. I don't know about you, and tonight's probably going to be another one of those evenings. These winds are going to stick around with us all night, around 25 to 35 miles per hour. Then by tomorrow morning, we're continuing to deal with those wind speeds, and they're not going to taper off until the latter portion of the afternoon. A good note? We're going to get all the winds out of the way, and by Wednesday, things are really going to taper off, and we're going to be dealing with some nice return flow out of the south, warming those temperatures back up. And then by Thursday, we're going to have some westerly winds pushed into the region, meaning drier air is back into play. So here's the game plan. For the overnight hours, we're going to stay clear for the majority of the evening. Then a few of those clouds are going to push in early tomorrow morning. Yes, this is correct. Snow is going to be over in New Mexico. We're not looking to see any snow in the South Plains, but we are looking to see a slight chance of rainfall as we go further on into Tuesday, latter portion of the day, especially down to Snyder, and then continue to push off into the rolling plains. Now, well, majority of the day, we're going to lack when it comes to any amount of sunshine. Just a lot of cloud cover and some drizzle will take shape across the South Plains. Temperatures are reflecting that. We're looking to top out 58 degrees in the hub. 60 is what we're looking at in Silverton. Off into the rolling plains, those numbers will be right in the 60 degree mark. A few spots getting a little higher, around 63, but still. Pretty chilly day ahead of us, and it's going to be a cloudy one. A lot of cloud cover. Drizzle is looking to be likely throughout the day, but definitely not heavy rainfall. We could get around a tenth of an inch or so across the South Plains. So be prepared for a few isolated showers. Then we head into Wednesday. Things are really going to warm up, and you're going to want them to, with lows at 37 degrees for the low. Some locations will have lows at or below freezing, especially up towards Muleshoe, Friona, up to the north and western corners. Please continue to stay weather aware. Cover up those plants. And I learned a cool fact. If you put a diaper on the bottom of one of your potted plants, it <laughs> helps hold in all the moisture and actually keeps your plants from you know, get dying because it's so cold. Who was the first person to try that out? That's what I always think of when I hear these things. It must be, a, it's not, not a small diaper. It, it depends. Or a baby oh, okay. diaper, depending on the size of your plant. An adult on. diaper. Adult diaper, it, yes. the, the larger the, the plant. <laughs> depending use, on, yeah. You know, depending on the age Hey, of the but we'll do anything to save our plants. That's you know true. what? It is May, and mm -hmm. it's getting a little chilly. But remember, this time last year, we had another cold snap. Yeah. Similar. Yeah, we did. So it's same song and dance, but don't worry, we'll yeah. warm back up. But our try plants, the diaper thing. Yeah. And the crops, the fruit trees, stuff like oh, that. Yes. We've yes. covered it before. It's a big deal, yeah. economy-wise. Oh, so it sure is. Keep them alive. Got to have our apples. Yes, we do. Thanks so much. Thanks.